Learners, today we're going to talk about personality types and how important that is when it, you're trying to determine what your career is going to be, as well as what kind of life you want to have. As by now you know, you have different types of personalities. I want to talk about a few things that are not in your book. My experiences with personalities. One, personalities do determine what kind of life you will have. For example, if you're an introvert and you don't learn how to step out of that introvert world, you could find that you oftentimes find yourself by yourself. If you're an extrovert and you don't know how to find your introvert, you could find that you're turning people away from you. Either way you put it, it's not necessarily good for you. If you're the type of person sensing, feeling, if you're judging, and you don't know how to step away from any of those types of personality characteristics, you might find that folks that you really want to get to know don't want to get to know you. That's not necessarily a good thing. As a matter of fact, we oftentimes think of personality as this is who I am, accept me or not. When in reality, is it really who you are? I want you to think about your relationships as it is right now. Are your relationships such that you don't change your personality based on the people you interact with? Do your parents know everything there is about you? Do you show your parents one type of a personality and when you're with your friends, there's another type? Do you show your friends one type of personality and when you're with your significant other, there's a different one? Do you have a different personality when you're in school with your professors, your high school counselors, your high school teachers? Do you have another personality when you're on your job, when you're working with others? Whether you're working in the service industry or not, when introduced you to people, do you show a personality that some may see as you? Or do you show a personality that others may not recognize? We all, each and every day, in some form, shape, or fashion, are sort of like a chameleon. As one student told me, I have to be a chameleon. If not, I won't be successful. And I agree with that student. In order to be successful, you have to be willing to step out of who you are and step into who you need to be. And that's the importance of personality. It's not that you change who you are. You adjust your personality to who you need to be to meet the needs of those that you're interacting with. Your parents expect something from you. You might be crazy with your friends, but around your parents, you're more sedate, more quiet, more calm. You might be the type of person who, when with your friends, show a little bit of, of life. But at work, you know and I know that little bit of life could cause you your job. So it's not about you changing who you are so much as you adjusting your personality to meet the needs of those that you interact with. Notice I've said this a different way, but I'm saying the same thing. I also would like you to think about how that appears to others, that personality that you display. How many times have you listened to something and said, hmm, that wasn't smart for that person to say or do that? How many times have you watched someone and said, wow, that's what I want to be like or that's what I want to do? That's all based on you seeing something that either supports what you expect or something that rejects what you expect. Either way you put it, it's your opportunity to learn. If it's something that supports, maybe you want to replicate that. Maybe you want to do it. If it's something that rejects, you probably shouldn't do it. So if you see someone out having a good time with their friends, they're loud, they're obnoxious, and you're saying, wow, that's, that's kind of embarrassing. Just keep that in mind when you feel like cutting free and realize that someone may be saying, wow, that's kind of embarrassing about you. 
if you see someone that's doing something that makes you say, that's something that I really would like to use when I'm dealing with people, don't be afraid to use it. You just have to determine when you should adjust your personality. Once you figure that out, then you will truly meet the intent of this lesson. It's not necessarily just so you can learn about your personality type. It's so you can learn how to work with other personality types. Oftentimes when we think about it, we say, hmm, I really want to work with this person. If we mean it, then we figure out how they function and we make sure we're able to help them out so that we can function well with them. Once done that way, you'll find you can flow among many different types of people who may not be like you, may not be from your same background, might not have the same culture, might not even look like you, and yet you're able to communicate with them and they're able to communicate with you. Sometimes adjusting means not giving up who you are, but using one of the many faces of who you are. I wish you well as you continue to explore your personality. And I encourage you to explore the personalities of those people that you meet. Don't judge them, but try to understand them. Have a wonderful day.